The debate is toxic and the gap is widening. The gap between what we thought we knew and what they knew. As VW's problems deepen over illegal defeat devices, new research proves there is a completely legal gap between idealized test results and what actually happens on the road. And it affects all cars. The gap in CO2 emissions between real road and laboratory conditions was just 8% in 2001. That has now rocketed to between 40 and 45%, but can be explained by strict lab conditions. What can't, says the Europe-wide pressure group Transport and Environment, is a gap of 50% by some manufacturers. So we'd like to see the investigations that are being carried out into Volkswagen extended to see whether defeat devices are also being used to improve fuel economy figures. Mercedes A, C and E class cars have been highlighted in the new report, but the manufacturer today said a defeat device like that used by VW has never been and will never be used. BMW's 5 Series was also singled out. A spokesman for the firm told me there was no manipulation of their results. BMW definitely doesn't do that, he said. And the Peugeot 308 got a mention. The company today said a different report gives its vehicles some of the best fuel efficiency results. All three companies support real-world tests. And the latest headlines vindicate those who already carry out those tests. Over all the 200 diesel cars we've tested in Europe, only five have met their official figures. So everyone essentially has cars that are over the limit. But none of this is necessarily illegal. That is the interesting story. But it's different to what we're being told as punters. And you, you've been talking about this for years, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. And, and people have been listening up to a point. It is about bringing about the real change so it translates into reduced emissions on the road and better fuel economy for everyone driving their cars. The whole issue has gone toxic and no one expects the headline-grabbing revelations to end anytime soon. Simon Viger, 5 News.